Hi, my name's Laura Hill. I'm part of the team here at Cloud Essentials. We're an experienced Microsoft partner, and for us, a tenant to tenant migration is a project right up our street. So you might be fairly familiar with general migration challenges. Uh, you may have been through the process maybe of getting from uh, an on-premise environment into the cloud, but just to share a couple of things with you really um, as to what we've we've learned specifically uh, about Office 365 tenant to tenant migrations. It doesn't tend to be a ground up kind of project. You know, this is typically uh, a direct result of a strategic decision from on high, maybe a merger or an acquisition or a separation. So external factors are often driving the timescales around this kind of project. And in that scenario, you don't have the luxury of time to mull it all over, gear up for it, spend months shopping around for partners and tools and solutions and doing lengthy POCs, etc. You know, chances are you've got deadlines uh, and certainly getting multiple tenants to coexist, getting people communicating and appearing to the outside world uh, as a new tenant under a new brand is often a priority. With tenant to tenant, you're not just talking about migrating kind of single workloads either. You know, a tenant move means data migrations from email, SharePoint, OneDrive, and managing that transition of all the applications that people are using for their day jobs, Skype, Teams, individual pieces of work make up a tenant to tenant migration, each with their own intricacies and dependencies to accommodate. It's an easy mistake to assume that just because two or more cloud tenants need migrating, that each of those are you know, fully in the cloud and really living the Office 365 dream. Our experience is that it's probably not so. Companies are adopting Office 365 at totally different rates and the range of consumption levels even within a company, different user groups and business units is, is enormous. So there's often a whole bunch of systems and applications that are still on-prem that are operating quite independently or synchronizing with the cloud. And there may be a very good reason that they never got put in the cloud and maybe they never will. So the tenant migration can't be limited to just the cloud technologies in it. You know, it really involves a full audit of everything that's going on in the environment to make sure you're not upsetting a potentially very delicate existence uh, of both on-prem and cloud. If it's a merger situation as well, there's also potentially a lot of people involved, politics going on, um, uncertainty even when it comes to kind of where the responsibility lies for making decisions around the project. So it's just an added dynamic that, that we've seen impact these kind of projects. So this is a high level overview of what a tenant to tenant migration project looks like if you were to work with Cloud Essentials. This was a project for a large financial company, about 16,000 users who were merging. So the implication was two completely separate tenants into one single new one under a completely new brand name. And at a very high level, the steps look like this. So a series of foundation workshops to understand the environment and really capture those requirements. A big part of this stage is kicking off a data governance conversation, um, which was a constant theme throughout the project. So our security baseline workshop um, make sure that the target environment has at least the same security and data management configurations that the source environments had. So no compromises. We then agreed the technical design, created that, ratified that, had that signed off, and that was led by one of our most experienced cloud architects. Then moved into the first phase, which was to establish coexistence, where we used a third party tool to get communications established, appear to the outside world as one unified brand, um, which was top priority for this customer. We used a neat little tool to get some bi directional password synchronization going to accommodate some of the on-premise systems that would have otherwise thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. We could then move into the Exchange Online a Migration Pilot and we used a, a SaaS-based tool set to facilitate much of that and from there you know, the plans evolved into how to stage the production migration. 
When it came to the SharePoint, the client took us up on the opportunity prior to migration to spend a few days doing a SharePoint permissions analysis. And from that, some remediation work and some cleanup activities so that we could really streamline the migration, um, but also make a bit of a fresh start with SharePoint in terms of some of the security structures there. We used a split domain approach to manage the, the Skype transition. And then it was a case of moving into the mailbox cutovers over a series of weeks and that SharePoint migration work, which ended up being a lot less than we thought, having done the sort of tidying up that I mentioned before. Throughout, you'll have a dedicated project manager to tie this whole life cycle of the project together um, to really keep you informed and help you set uh, realistic expectations to the business, um, which is very important. The tail end of the project saw some initiatives to drive up user adoption, which to be honest is still a bit of a long-term effort, but the configuration decisions that we made early on, they meant that some security loopholes had been closed up, user habits were, were almost being forced to change, you know, as we moved to the new tenant, and it's just some extra efforts um, and tools really to kind of help users continue down that road of, of consuming what was available to them in Office 365. So the next stage for us is, is helping this client with their Active Directory consolidation and you know, to fully integrate the organisations. So I hope that serves as a useful introduction as to how we tackle tenant to tenant migrations. If you've got this kind of a project and you think you could benefit from working with our team, please get in touch directly or ask your Microsoft representative to connect you with Cloud Essentials.